what does it mean for your track to be an NFT? Like what significance does that have over just putting it on Spotify or your website or something like so shout out again to the crypto nerds for building a community and help helping one another to to strive into the crypto space. What's going on, guys? Welcome to the One Day You'll See podcast. Once again, welcome to the new episode. And today it's a very good episode, but our pa- our podcast here is to inspire you to become more by discussing different topics, ideas, goals, and stories. For everybody watching and everybody listening, he's telling you guys, my son, because he's here with me today, to don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share this content because this content is for everybody. And we have a goal to get up there at the top podcast, but we will need your help. So I appreciate each and every single one of you. For those of you watching, listening, don't forget to screenshot this, share it on your social media, on Instagram. That's where we're at, at One Day You'll See Podcast. Once again, at One Day You'll See Podcast. Screenshot this, share it, tag us, and we would appreciate every single time. So guys, today's episode it's very exciting. It's another episode that involves crypto, but also blockchain, but also music and other uh, topics as well, because today we have a very special guest. For those of you who don't know, we have a gentleman that's uh, partaking in a, in a group chat uh, or group, I should say, that I'm a part of, um, which is called Crypto Nerds. So shout out again to the Crypto Nerds for building a community and help, helping one another to, to strive into the crypto space. But today he's the official dj for the crypto nerds so i don't want to burst his bubble i don't want to say too much because i want him to introduce himself so today we have a special guest none other than my man my boy dj nasu what's up my bro welcome to the Hello. welcome to the podcast and it is such a great honor to be here today thank you again for having me i'm gonna say that probably a million times let's get right into it i'm excited i'm excited i'm blessed yeah. man thank you yeah, I'm excited, right. bro. No, thank you for for coming out. You know what I mean. It, it does. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's it's a. It's an honor, bro, to have you the official DJ for the Crypto Nerds. So, so appreciate you for taking some time out of your day to be a part of this podcast to share your wealth to everybody around the world. So let's go ahead and deep right into it. So, if you could just let the people know who you are, so how you start, how you started, what did you do before before becoming DJ Nasu? Before all that. Uh, I was born into music, basically. I've been playing the drums my entire life. Uh, I was a professional touring drummer, so I would travel the world playing the drums from city to city, state to state, country to whatever. Nice. Um, yeah. when, when I came out of that, I was going back to school. Uh, probably around the 10th, 9th or 10th grade, I started picking up music production. And then, I ain't gonna lie, all through class all day, I was on my laptop making music all day. That was uh, I was probably man. That was over ten years ago now. So I've been in the game for a minute in terms of production, and DJing came right along with that at the exact same time. So I turned into uh, you know, I'm just a musician at this point. I'm an artist, and I'm a DJ, and I'm a producer, and I'm a blockchain enthusiast, and I'm a crypto nerd. Question, which is, um, what got you into the crypto space? You see, actually, production led me here. So I was doing, I mean, like he said, uh, Jose, thank you for putting that out there. That's something I do for the public is production and engineering. So, for example, I'm the one that produces and engineers the Crypto Nerds tracks. So that's something I could bring to the table in terms of that. And that's actually how I got to meet them in the first place. It was uh, I was living over in North Park in San Diego. And um, one day my boy said he was out at the park and he seen the homies dancing and then he told them to come back to the studio. And it turns out that was anointed and wheezy, the crypto nerds. All so right. that was the first okay. time I ever met them. Yeah. And my homies, Remy, shout out to Out of the Norm. He brought him back to the studio and we did uh, the original crypto nerds music right on the spot that day. That's how I got shown everything from crypto to trading and how everything in the markets works. It was a studio session that turned into a trading session, and that was incredible. Put me on the game in that day. Was a uh, how uh, talk to us a little bit about music and blockchain. How does that work? How can a musician and artist be a part of that or start a project like an NFT album or something? 
All right. So I'm going to attack that question in multiple ways because that's a big question. Yeah. That is a very large size question. There's a lot to get into. That is specifically a rabbit hole I've been, I wouldn't say stuck in, but I keep myself down there on a daily basis. So let's get right into it. When it comes to music and blockchain, let's look at it like a math equation. Music plus blockchain equals what? So let's answer that what. Mm. So, like you said, albums or specific audio files can be turned into NFTs. This is true. And we're going to get into later, a little bit later, we're going to get into specifically how to do that. But what does it mean? for your track to be an nft like what significance does that have over just putting it on spotify or your website or something like right if i put the track up for two dollars on my website or i make it an nft with only a thousand total mints and let's say a five dollar base price i mean we have it's the same way the fed prints money there's infinite files of that two dollars track on my website infinite forever the money just prints forever but if we have this nft and there only a thousand exists of this track and it starts at five bucks i mean that's an extra three on top but when there's only a thousand then there's some sort of scarcity to owning this file and then again you could go and stream it so that that leads to the question in what value does this audio NFT bring besides being able to listen to the track and say that you own it, right? So now I'm getting into a brainstorming phase of, well, maybe they get, like when there's only a thousand mints of the NFT, there's only a thousand prints of the physical album, which could be a USB drive, mm -hmm. but then that's gonna be physically signed and then sent to whoever bought the NFT. Now they have the physical and the digital asset in which they can hold on to this forever as long as it exists in the physical world. But being on the blockchain, it will exist forever. Mm -hmm. That ownership is tied. So that's what I'm saying. If there's only a thousand of this album that truly exists, only a thousand people can say that they truly own it. That's where the value lies. It's like, yeah, you could go and stream it, but look, I got it right here and it's signed. There's still a physical tie to it because I mean, look we ain't going fully digital as in terms of ready player one type vision we're not we're not going there in this lifetime we're going to have physical bodies for this lifetime so i mean that's one way i see to bring value within nfts music blockchain and um, collectibles i mean put it all in one package why not Mm -hmm. what are, what is it that you've seen or learned that you can share with the people when it comes to music and artificial intelligence GPT-3. What's, GP, what's GPT-3? GPT-3 is the latest development in artificial intelligence technology created by OpenAI. Mm. This is a full neural network capable of operating, understanding, and creating as a human would for example i'm over here in san diego and i'm wondering i'm sitting in my room all all locked down up and i'm wondering okay who do i where do i go well i can't go so who what do i have to do and who do i have to talk to to keep my business going in terms of making music with people how do i do my artist outreach now that i can't go anywhere so i would go ahead and use GPT-3, the AI. And I'm going to keep saying that because I'm so bullish on GPT-3. Oh, my God. Just please look into that if you, when you got the time. Just take a little deep dive on that. Uh, what I'm saying is I would go ahead and ask this AI. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and read back a conversation I had with this AI uh, just to see how I could apply artificial intelligence in terms of music business. And what I found was incredible. And this is just the beginning. Let me go ahead and read it back to you. 
I asked the AI, what music organizations are doing good in San Diego? They said, in the community of North Park, the most popular rappers are Drake, Kendrick Lamar, and Childish Gambino. In community of Sarah Mesa, the most popular rappers are Lil Uzi Vert and Lil Pump. In City Heights, the most popular rappers are Kanye West and Travis Scott. I just asked this AI what rappers are most popular in San Diego. And it told me different areas of San Diego and which rappers are most popular in there. So I decided to take it a step further and say, how about local rappers in those areas? And this is all quotes. So I said, how about local rappers in those areas? They said the most famous local rapper in the area of North Park is known as the kid. The most, he said the kid in all different areas. And I said, okay, who is that? And then they told me what he, they said, I don't know his real name, but he's a member of the group called Locals Only. And keep in mind, this is a conversation with the AI. I went ahead and looked up this supposed rapper with the album. I don't think they exist. So it's kind of, it's all over the place, but this is incredible. The type of things we can do just to like, that's no, I don't know how many of you have been on, um, what do they call that? The, the original chat AI. Cleverbot. Mm. You remember Cleverbot? I, I heard of it, but I'm not really too into it. It's just this little chat box that's on a, it's on a website, and you could just talk to it. It gives you random responses like based on what you said. But just holding down a conversation where it's giving me real information based off, like I was trying to keep my inputs minimal. Mm -hmm. so that it could figure out the most it could and the amount of information. Oh my God. For example, there's an AI using GPT-3 uh -huh. that is a content generator for, um, for copywriting, like blog posts. Mm -hmm. So you give it a topic, I would say, what's the importance of soul in music? Mm -hmm. And it would start typing out paragraphs of copyright upon just that simple thing and you can set how long you want it to type for how much you want it to and if it starts saying some crazy shit you could oh excuse me if it starts saying some crazy stuff you could delete it and then go back to what you want it to continue from and i put a blog i put this blog post on my website using entirely gpt3 generated content mm -hmm. <laughs> It's a long post and it's fully informational and it's all facts. But all I did was type in these few key, um, what I wanted the blog post to be about. And the AI went ahead and wrote it for me. And this is all about, it had accurate information about music. But um, I appreciate you sharing that story, bro. You know, never quit, never give up because um, you never know. You know what I mean? You just never know what, what, uh, what can life guide you to, but, uh, uh, bro, I appreciate you so much. Thank you for shouting your, your wealth of knowledge to myself and everybody in this podcast. Um, again, for those of you watching and listening, you have DJ Nasu. You see where you can follow him on Instagram at DJ.NAISU. And you can also go to his website. It was uh, Nisu-media.com. Uh, you already know. There you go. So there you have it, folks. So appreciate those of you watching and listening. Screenshot this. Share it on your social media. Share it on Instagram at One Day You'll See Podcast. Once again, at One Day You'll See Podcast. Go ahead and share it and uh, tag us. Tag DJ Nasu. So that way we continue sharing this content with everybody around the world. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share this content so that way we can continue inspiring other people to become better by discussing different topics, ideas, goals, and stories. Keep smiling. Keep being kind. Keep us sharing love with other people. Keep it, keep, you know, putting smiles on other people's faces so we can continue to make this world a better place. Thank you so much for watching and listening. DJ Nasu, appreciate you. Thank you so much. And we'll, uh, we'll see you till next time, bro. We'll sure work on some things. So everybody, take care. Have a good one. Peace. Peace. Love and late. Yes, sir.